when it comes to technology, especially new technology, it's only natural that we worry how it could affect our children. And after all, their brains are still <coughs> developing, and it's hard to say with any certainty how our rapidly changing world might impact them. But while we frequently fret over our kids, we give far too little thought to ourselves. Now, while the adult brain might not be developing at the same as those of our children, we are nevertheless affected by technology. In fact, there's increasing evidence that adult brains are a whole lot more adaptable than we might give them credit for due to a phenomenon known as neuroplasticity. So the habits we adopt every day could be having a much more profound effect on us than we realize. So we're joined today by Gary Dobkins, the general manager at OneGrid.com. Welcome to the show. Thanks. I mean, we're going to be doing this interview now, but I'm blushing and I can't even look you in the eye because I am addicted to my screen. Right. It's a problem. More than 14 <laughs> hours a day? Oh, no, is that an... Oh, then I'm fine. Do people really spend Can more I than 14 hours a day? Can I expose you? Can yeah. I expose her? Jeannie's finger has actually bent <laughs> out of shape. And yeah. Just this index, mm -hmm. the little that. baby finger. From holding my from phone. From holding yeah. her phone. Yeah. Check. It's actually got a whole dent. Yeah. And they're from holding it like that and scrolling. But I don't <laughs> do 14 hours a day. And you check your mails every 10 minutes? Yeah. And you yeah. spend two hours locking and unlocking your phone every day? Oh, probably. Make yeah. me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the yeah. thing, huh? Okay, so mm. how and many... And we don't even work with screens. No, we don't. Well, we are, we are on screen, but we don't work with screens. <laughs> how many hours a day do you think your average work person spends? We're looking at a screen up to 14 hours a day as, an, a as an average. You know, whether it's the phone, whether it's the computer TV. screen, whether it's the TV, whether it's the, you know, the tablets, it's... These are part of our lives, and uh, unfortunately, they are addictive. That's that's a, that's the nature of the beast, and uh, yeah, we and will it will it fall, to these things? Do you think it's any? It's the same as being addicted to drugs or sex or alcohol or cigarettes. The same thing. It's exactly the same. So Whoa. technology is designed to be addictive. You know, wow. the, the apps we use, the things we do. There's a whole bunch of clever guys out there who make these things very easy to use, and they make them so you always have to have them with you. You always want to be looking at the next uh, news article. You want to be jumping here, jumping there. And it's, uh, it's the same brain chemistry as any addictive uh, dependency that you have. They actually Triggers make the it same so things. we need it. Yep. Because we, we yep. constantly need information. Mm. Like, I need to know when my yoga class is after this, and I need to check my app for mm. the yoga app. Mm. So, mm. I mean, when you, when you <coughs> we talk a lot about how it affects children, but also just rounding off mental health awareness mm. month and a lot of talk around that, how does it affect people who, let's say, are uh, um, susceptible to mental um, illness or mm. mood swings and addiction. Or, does it, or addiction, or does it affect everybody the same way? Yeah, so I'm not going to go the, you know, how it affects people, because yeah. I'm not qualified for that. But it does affect us, you know, there's obviously the physical impact. You know, you're slouching, you're in one place for eight hours a day, and there's wrist strain, eye strain. But it goes much deeper than that. Um, it affects your brain chemistry. The, the blue light that's been bombarded at you, that's a light you should be waking up with, not that you should be going to sleep at night with. Um, it affects uh, uh, depression. You know, we're in a world that we're connected, but we're feeling more disconnected and more lonely than ever before, because mm. this, is our, this is our world. And it's... Uh, it affects uh, your stress, your sleep patterns. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it is an occupational hazard. It's, it's a real thing in the, yeah. in the work world today. I even have an app to go to sleep to. Really? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I'm an addict. Mm. You're dependent. <laughs> yeah. So, so w with people who do have to sit in front of a screen yep. all day, what other uh, precautions can they put in place to actually lessen the effects of screen time? So this is something you have to watch. And, you know, the practices are simple. It's breaking the addiction that's, that's not so simple. Um, so it's the simple things. You know, it's every, every 20 minutes, stand up, walk around, drink some water, have a breath. You know, the two fundamentals of life is air and water. Um, and simple things as well, like, don't work sitting down. Put a, put a chicken crate in your desk and work standing up. If you work wow. for three hours standing up a day, there's 180 cal calories, there's a slice of pizza for you in the evening. That's you know, I guilt free. I think we should do our interview standing up from nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> vary, vary, vary your work activities. Don't spend all, all, all day behind a screen. You know, get up casually. You know, being in a workplace means you're working with other people. You're working with teams. And yeah. That interactivity, the collaboration, uh, you know, generating energy off each other. That, that breaks the daily routine of staring at a screen all day, and it, yeah. it, it, it keeps you more focused, you know, and, and allows you to be, be better at problem solving, uh, yeah. at being creative, and you know, addressing the problems that you might be having. 
I really good. hope that the world does do a turnaround away from technology because, uh, you know, if you if you just look everywhere, everybody's always on their phones. Mm -hmm. So when you go to restaurants, instead of people talking to each other nowadays, they're, they're on, on their the phones. phones. People don't need to date and court others anymore because they just need to swipe left and swipe right. Yeah. Like, we really do need to stop being so Absolutely. online yeah. and when it comes yeah. to children I mean we can't be draconian as parents and say mm. our children can't have screen time at all because mm. this is the world they live in now mm. yeah. what is an adequate time for a child to spend in front of a screen um, a week well you know they're saying you know kids up to five years they shouldn't be looking at any screens um, mm. remember the TVs came out and remember the TV trays yeah, yeah. And all the family sat around watching TV mm. on the TV trays we, we said stop that you know have have a, have a meal together yeah it's the same principle today but put away the souls when you're having family uh, a family meal yeah. don't take your phone to bed phone belongs downstairs charge it downstairs mm -hmm. use an alarm clock yeah that blue light uh, reduces melatonin which allows you to sleep wow. so it's the same if you have a cup of, don't have a cup of coffee two hours before bedtime don't look at your phone two hours yeah. before bedtime but it's an addiction, yeah. which you have to break. Yeah. There was an interview where all of the, the tech experts and the leaders in tech in, in Silicon Valley don't let their children have any screens. Yeah. At all. At all. And mm. they are the people who would know most about it. Mm. That's interesting. Shame. And Bonnie's poor kids are going to yeah. scratch out of me now because they're, they're not going to no, get any well, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> on the opposite end of the scale. Our children are not allowed any screen time unless it's a weekend. Mm. And if it's mm. a weekend, they're allowed screen time they're doing something like um, mathletics or, or, or that spelling. Mm. spelling athletics. Um, we're, I'm, I'm hot strict. I'm, I'm a tiger mom. <laughs> I'm a tiger mom. I, I put myself uh, out uh, there. I yeah. think it's very impressive, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, you know, use technology to help you counteract the negative effects of technology. There's a yeah. ton of apps out there that help you have the disciplines of limiting the screen time that you spend. Oh, like uh, what? Meditation. So there's, uh, yeah. there's, a, there's a very clever app that says, okay, you set the limits on how much you want to spend time on the app. And yeah. you register with this company, and if you break your own limits, you pay them online. So it's, it penalizes oh, no, you. No, so that's going to cost me way too much. <laughs> <laughs> so there are clever things like this. Yeah, and you know, in running a tech company, it's even it's, you know, it's even more of an issue with you know the the, the, the guys who are uh, their job is to sit behind screens all day, whether it's customer support or yeah. software development. And so we've got to have those disciplines to create a healthy working environment. It's uh, it's crucial. The guys who invented that app that you've got to pay them if you over, they must be laughing all yeah. the way to the bank. <laughs> what a good Why didn't yeah. I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being Absolute here. Absolute pleasure. Great Thank you. interview. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.